Hello and welcome to a first look of Train Life, a railway simulator. Notice, railway simulator, not train simulator. Yes, if you're expecting anything like Run 8 or even Train Sim World 2, not going to happen. The developers have stated if you uh, do buy this for $15 US on Steam, link will be in the description below then you are, you are taking part in the development. It is a little rough around the edges, but it's playable. I've yet to have a crash, may have just jinxed it. But there's a few wobbly bits in there, talking of which, and segue. I want to thank Wobbly Boater for uh, gifting me this game so we can take a look at it. It was on my radar, however, he <laughs> bought it before I had a chance to uh, get it myself. So thank you, Wobbly. And as such, we'll be naming our company Wobbly Transport. There we go. <laughs> it's kind of apt, and you'll see why once we get into the game. Uh, uh, there we go. I've created as a new company. We're going to start together. Tutorial is off. I've played it for about almost four hours. And this is where we're starting, is it? Okay, we've got a block signal, which means you have to request entrance to the Cologne warehouse here. We're not going to do that yet. We're going to find us a contract. The idea behind the game, I can see where they're going with this, and it's promising. Think Euro Truck Simulator, but rail. That's probably the closest I could come up with. Cities will grow. You'll see into supply and demand around the map. Uh, if we take a look at the map, here we go. This is us. We're starting in Cologne over here. We've got a, a nice little... Uh, Run, as you can see if I hover over this, on the right side of the screen, Cologne Farm, it produces grain and cows, two contracts available, loose wagons 14, not sure what loose wagons is all about, I haven't looked into that yet. Uh, the grain should allow us to just take it round the corner here to uh, the grain mill, and then they have a contract as well as they produce goods. They don't have anything at the moment, so we're going to deliver them some grain from the farm. That's the map. If I zoom out, it's huge. It's got some issues though with uh, loading in and it, it stutters quite a bit. However, it's early days. Like I said, we're in early access. But yes, if we click on cities here, there's a lot to take in. You can take passengers, you can take freight. We're doing freight today. And we'll go back to, there's our company info. There's a lot to get uh, your teeth into this early on in early access our train we have no contract at the moment but this is ours we'll take a look at that shortly employees we can have those as well this is all where it's very reminiscent of euro truck simulator but there we go we've got no points to spend but you can level up your character and level unlocks here as well back into the game should we press uh, c for camera Either, I can't move it or I've not found a way to move it. But there we go, cinematic camera. This is our loco. This is what we'll be travelling around in. Don't know what that was all about. There we go, we can have a look around. There's us sitting in there looking uh, confused. He's got a little less hair than me, but not by much. If we set us a waypoint, I see this. We're going to go here and pick up the grain. I see this as booking in your route to the dispatch around here. So they know where we're going. Let's get back out now we've set it. I've seen on the forums that people have issues with signaling and that might be when you're just driving around free because you can, you can drive around if you want. First thing we've got to do, press A for radio. And we're staring at Cologne Warehouse here. So we need to get that block signal off and Three services, station access. There we go, they've changed to green. We needed to do that before we can go through. So when you approach any station, make sure you've got access. Press A again to close that. They've confirmed that we can go through. You'll see our route is on the map there. Take the handbrake off and just put it into 10%. Under the mini map, you'll see left and right. That means the switch ahead of us, we've got set to left. And because it's green, that is correct. When it's blue which is when we started before we set a route it's up to you what you do with it but you're then 
at the mercy of the signalling. I recommend not doing that. I prefer it like this. Setting a route, dispatch knows where I'm going, and uh, everybody's happy on the on the railway. I've not seen another train here yet, anywhere. So we'll see. You do see one in the tutorial, but it's just parked up on the side. But yeah, you're running a railway company. There we go. Press Q and I'll change the switch again, which would be the one we're approaching just here. It means we stay straight and go straight ahead. And that's it. Our speed limit is 50. You can see that under the our current speed of 17, 18 kph. And we're going to head off and pick us up some grain, guys. Now, this is where I say this is not a train simulator. How does wheel slip work in this? I can demonstrate probably. If I go up two notches, it should wheel slip. No matter your speed, no matter the grade, anything. So all you've got to do to avoid that, this is in its current state. So no physics involved here whatsoever. Is tap it up, leave it a second, tap it up again, and there we go. You avoid it. And you can do the same there. Now if I go up two notches from 30%, here you go, wheel slip. Avoid that because it will uh, ruin your train and you have to pay for that. Right, we're uh, slowly but surely heading out the station here, or the warehouse. And you should see end of station signs if we haven't already passed them. I wasn't paying attention, I was looking at the speed. Ah, there it is up there. Uh, we shouldn't have to do anything. We've got to change to left. I hope I've changed at the correct point. That could be awkward. There we go. We're leaving the station. And when we get close to our pickup point, we'll, uh, we'll radio in and, and set us up a contract, which should allow us entrance at the same time. But this is it, guys. I mean, the graphics are all right, aren't they? It's lovely. It does remind me of a train version of Eurotruck. Now, if they can keep up with their development on this and get rid of the niggles, then, yes, I'm going to love this. <laughs> Absolutely. It's relaxing at times. You have to keep an eye on everything because you have to manually change all the switches ahead of you, but that's the gameplay element rather than simulator. I mean, simulator, loose word. Right, we've got to change the switch. It does have a countdown to how far away the switch is. You see there, 300, right under the minimap there, bottom left. However, what I would like to see is that same countdown applied to next speed limit. Uh, we've got animals near the track. I don't know whether we can see them. This is part of the gameplay. And if you see an animal on the track, you uh, press X be a horn and uh, you can get rid of the... It'll run away. Get rid of the animal? It'll run away out the way of your train. Right, we're approaching Cologne Farm. So what we need to do is radio into Cologne Farm. There we go. And services would like to take a contract and we're going to take wagons eight wagons to frankfurt food processing plant no yes oh frankfurt where's my other contract gone no guys i don't know where any of these are last time it had a one to go to cologne mill Oh, I could take it manually, but I don't know whether that's worth it. Oh, yes. Grades. Not quite correct. They're a little bit aggressive. And uh, the train doesn't react very well. And, of course, the, uh, the way that wheel slip works, you're not going to wheel slip. You just balance it, like I said, leaving it a second here and there. I'm going to pull up to the uh, to the entrance here. This is not what I had in mind. We're going to have to have a look at the map, aren't we? So we've got Saarbrücken, Saarbrücken and Frankfurt. 
where are those places in in relation well frankfurt's over there that's not too far so brooklyn's down there that's a journey isn't it let's try again i didn't realize it would close it for us three services take contract food processing plant well let's take it and then we'll find it there we go we'll take that take automatically cologne farm uh, livestock ah, that's why livestock right we'll take that that should give us access to the station we'll stick the, a bit of power on there lovely cologne farm here contract is ready to be taken proceed to the station and accept it by coupling wagons anywhere at the station over thank you now does that give us access to the station as long as it's green we can just uh, go in ah yes one of the issues i think i remember this from trains one of the trains in world twos do you remember this when the class 43 would go by and it had some some of this going on just ignore that you don't see it everywhere right we're heading in oh supposed to change there never mind oh no it might have been the correct switch it might be this switch that it, it's talking about yes it is okay i didn't miss it we've started with forty thousand euros that looks like and uh you did get fined for speeding incorrect headlight usage uh, among other things we're gonna come up into this track and then we'll couple you'll see coupling pick up initiate coupling from the radial menu all by pressing u and we've reached our destination technically because we're on this track doesn't matter where we park up either so we're just going to stop here here we go e to brake the same thing applies with braking if you hit it twice your wheel slip <laughs> Oh dear, not how trains work. But anyway, it's a game, isn't it? Not a simulator. Must keep telling myself that, even though it's in the, in the title. Now, the radial menu, you hold shift and you can select all the things. I don't know how you get it off the screen. Escape. And now you will bring up the... Uh... Oh, it won't because we're doing it automatically. Yes, perfect. Right, so we've got those. I was going to say it will bring up the coupling uncoupling menu but you only get that if you're doing it manually i believe which you can do you can take stuff around because you can deliver stuff to warehouses around the map now we need to go to what was it it was down here somewhere wasn't it Frank frankfurt factory no it's the food processing wasn't it iron mine nuremberg not there there it is it's up there well, this is a journey. Oh, right. We need to get rid of that waypoint. Don't do that. We'll get to experience some of the uh, the quirks of the game and stuff I like as well. I don't dislike it. Pressing M twice does not close the map. That's good to know. Now, we're facing the wrong direction. Mini map there, our little train pointer is the other way. So if we press uh, shift, you'll see we can change front and back what it actually does is change the way our train is facing not the way we're facing so that's a thing right camera there we go we've got loads of cattle on now how many we got goodness me we've got enormous amounts i could have maybe pulled up further uh yes that's good that's a good train isn't it there we go because we're facing the correct direction now let's uh get back in the cab we can no what's going on here that didn't work am i in the wrong seat what's up with me i'm facing backwards i'm supposed to be over there can i go over there you can't just get up and go over either front back cabin okay we're just facing the wrong way aren't we do it so we're facing or sat in the right place and then i'm going to go to the map and clear this and see if it sets us a better uh 
destination to go around the loop. If not, we can always go around the loop manually. I'm going to go around the loop manually because this isn't doing what I want it to do. That's fine. Right. Now, if you just leave it that one second, you can get the throttle at 4 kph all the way up to 100. There we go. Not how they work, is it? Just as a demonstration. Not what we're going to do, although we can go up to uh, 50. Now, if you have it on zero and do it twice, your wheel slip. Just bear all that in mind. What we need to do now is get all the way around and head back on to our route there. It shouldn't matter in the yard, though I'm not 100% confident that's the case. Uh, okay, there we go. It's figured it out, guys. All I had to do was uh, head out of the uh, track, the loading track. Perfect. Right, our journey begins. And what's the speed coming up? 60. I guess we could get up to speed. Although, then you've got quick time event switch changing at higher speeds. Sometimes you can mess it up. It's fairly good though. As soon as you pass the point, you can uh, you can change it over. There we go. You got like what was that? Five hundred meters. We're probably going a little quick. Oh, we've got people out there. Hello. Wake up. More people. Wake up. There we go. I, li I like the farms. I'm going to say that. It's got all the goods in. It's got trucks in. Yeah, I like it a lot. Definitely got promise. I've got our headlights on. Currently. The uh, inertia and everything is a bit strange, especially when you uh, cruise. The speed can drop dramatically. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, as it proves me wrong. Oh, look at that. Did you see that uh, jerkiness there? Some of these switches don't line up right, I've noticed, especially the diamonds. So it feels like we're jumping the rails a little bit. Um, but yeah, we're on to the main line now. We'll unlikely see any trains. Now you can hire staff, buy more locos, and send them out on jobs. Whether you'll see them on the track is debatable. I don't know whether that is the case. I'm hoping that becomes the case if it isn't. If it's already the case, then brilliant. Now we are going downhill. Which we are picking up speed. Lovely. It might be because we've got a load on the back. When it's just a train on its own, it uh, stalls out a bit. Shall I look straight? I don't know why I was looking over there. Oh yeah, because of the people. Just got to keep an eye on the switches. Right, we're leaving. Or are we entering a station? I don't know. Are we entering a station? If we're entering a station here, we might need to uh, request access. Which is worrying me a little bit because we're going a bit quick. No, we should be bypassing, right? Are we bypassing? I can't see any red signals. There'll be dwarf signals, usually. No, I think we're good. We're turning right. Yeah, there's the dwarf signal down there. You can zoom in with the mouse wheel. For those, you've got to stop or request access before you enter the station. So just keep an eye on that. But it's kind of beautiful, isn't it? I like it. For a very early access game, I'm happy with it. I could see me losing time in this a lot. And, uh, especially if we've got time on my hands, which I don't have much of. So I'll try and play it on and off on the channel. I definitely want to keep an eye on it. The, uh, the jerkiness, I don't think is frame rate related from my testing I was monitoring the frame rates and they didn't seem to drop yet the, the train would jerk backwards and forwards occasionally especially when it's loading in new stuff I've got it running on an SSD watch your uh, point positioning there I mean we're going a bit slow that's because we're or I'm 
taking my time to get past this station or the warehouse. Uh, we could speed it up a bit, can't we? Should we try and uh, should we try and get adventurous and pick it up to what? What's the track speed? Eighty, and then it, the next one's eighty. Yeah, let's do it. Right, we've got yellow flashing. I think in this game means we're going to cross over. Oh no, what's going on there? Oh no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I need. Oh dear. Help. We're, we're going to get fined, guys. Uh, clone main. Clone main. Services. Station access. Oh, I was too late. Yep, yeah, there. That's a problem. That's close. Now I'm pressing all the things. Come on. Yeah, that was close. Yellow flashing normally means crossing over. I guess it would have meant that we had a red as well. Oh, I'm sad about that. We're doing all right. Yeah. Did I get fined? No? Yes? Didn't we have 40,000 to start with? Oh, I might not have got fined, guys. That's nice if that is the case. Anyway, what's the speed limit? Yeah, you've got to pay attention to those. I didn't know that Cologne, Maine was going to be so close. Perhaps once you get used to the map, you'll uh, figure out where these little nuances on the line are. Just like in real life. Oh dear, that was a uh, that was a lamppost through the track. Few issues, isn't there? Here and there. Early access, definitely. And it's only just entered into early access, about a week. So there's uh, there's a lot of stuff that could be tweaked between now and release, whenever that will be. They have said the developers, that is, that uh, the prices will go up once we enter a full release so if you want to get involved in the development a little bit or at least give feedback they do seem to be responding and listening there's a discord and everything uh, which will be on the steam page so I think it's on the steam page or in the discussion of the, the forums at the very least so I'll link to the Steam page and you should be able to access everything from there. This has a lot of potential though, doesn't it? It would be lovely to have a Euro Truck-esque train game. I think that's where they're going with this. Oh, a little wiggle. There are some iffy bits of track dotted around the map. And vanishing catenary as well, which is wonderful. I don't know what they need to improve first. Performance technically is good. It's just the the odd bit of lag. The frame rate doesn't dip. And I, I'm on an NVMe SSD. This is what this is installed in. And, or installed on. And I've got it disabled under the uh, virus scanner just to make sure. I've tried to tweak the settings a little bit. Uh, I've got it on maximum view distance. It's possibly helping at the moment. Although you'll notice on a new game, it, it tends not to... Oh, no, there we go. We're starting to see the little glitches. I take it all back. It doesn't matter what I set it up. You no longer have access to Cologne Main yet, so they're not expecting us anymore, so we can't pass through. That was an amazing bit of panic on my behalf, though. How far we got to go? Oh, not too far. I noticed there, which is incorrect, I would say, that it's asking us to go through the power plant rather than stick to the main line. That's not right, is it? Yeah, that shouldn't be a thing at all. I guess we could waypoint it ourselves. That might be a thing you do, right? Just waypoint. Because you can s stick different uh, points on there. I wonder. Because we are going here. Do we need to go through there? Not really, right? We want to stay on this line. So if we go there, then there. There we go. 
let's see how that works it's changing our schedule so we've technically radioed that in or they've radioed us so we made a mistake we're sending you through the uh through the power plant there when all we need to do is keep going i'm hoping that bypass is faster if the bypass is slower strange firstly but um that would make sense then wouldn't it it looks like a, ooh, what was that that's even worse isn't it it's probably loading in the world i need to keep up the uh, frame rate viewer thing that i have with steam yeah this is the issues i was seeing i really don't think it's my system if you're interested in what system i'm running it's all in the description below oh yeah look at that we can go up a little bit on speed you are speeding wait what didn't that say 120 what's going on i wasn't speeding what's going on there <laughs> that's why isn't it that's why it sent us through the power plant because the speeds are wrong on here anyway what was i saying yes i've got a RTX 2080 Super, so not the newest of cards in the world. No, we're still speeding. Oh, this is like a roller coaster. Wait, this isn't even the yard. We haven't even got there yet, Grand. I thought that might be the yard. 90? 120? Well, yes, the, the corner should be 60, shouldn't it? Oh, we'll pick up speed again. I'm going to have to keep an eye now on the uh, on the speeds. It does give you a little time to respond. Because we didn't seem to get punished for running the yard red. The access. There we go. We're taking the... the what are we doing here? We're turning left at the diamond. Is that right? Crossing onto the right track. We should be on the... We should be on this side though. For Germany. Why are we going on the other side? I'm sure it will make sense. No, it doesn't make sense. This is UK side, isn't it? We're on the UK side now. So now we're heading right. Which is correct. What is the speed limit? Is it going to bite us? No. I don't know. Oh, that could do with some smoothing. Do you, it feels like I've already made a route in Transport Fever 2. And we're driving along it. And it's a bit rough in places. <laughs> but we're basically our trains we put on lines in Transport Fever. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Which I don't mind. Or any uh, Transport Tycoon-esque game. You're the little people. Driving around. On the trains. And owning the company at the same time. So you've got to do the legwork first. How close are we? There we go. We're bypassing though, which is right. I don't know what speed we're supposed to be doing here. 120 apparently, which scares me. What are you going to change to? 100. Okay, that seems to be working so far. We've got a bit of a grade, so we're going to gradually stick up the uh, the speed there. I mean, the scenery is nice, isn't it? It's lovely. Everything about this is almost there there's the little wiggle in the tracks I don't think the uh, the diamonds connect correctly they need a little bit of smoothing work if they can tidy up early on all of the, the little annoyances then I think that's a good start then after that work on expanding it mainly the track and how it is possibly the way the locomotive handles the signaling could maybe do with some work i don't know it just needs a few more i would say one way track it might help the network a little bit i mean i get it uh, everything being bi-directional is certainly easier for trains to scoot around each other but not not realistic 
Okay, we've got a climb. Oh, we're going in the tunnel. Look at that. We're going to have to give this some serious... Oh, there we go. Reverb. We have to give this some serious power to get up here. Well, that's spooky. Sounds like a horror film. Are we on a train? Goodness me, how much power do I need to give this? Probably 100%. There we go. Is that how that would work? Not really. Accelerate. There we go. The, the problem I've got here is as soon as we get on the, the flat section, we're going to maybe go to about 700 miles an hour. Well, kilometers an hour. But I'm happy with it. There we go. We've uh, turned the turbo on. Lovely. What do you reckon, guys? Promising, isn't it? If we can get rid of the, the weird jerkiness of the train movement and the, uh, the issues on the track, possibly work a little bit on on how the train responds to grades. The company side of it looks like it's all there, from what I can tell. As long as all the... Uh, oh, yeah, I'm speeding. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Oh, goodness me. Gives you a lot of leeway, doesn't it? Now, if you're in the yellow, it doesn't tend to punish you too much. You can stay in the yellow. I could be wrong, because I normally pay attention to the speed as best as possible. Uh, what are we going to speed up to here? 120. Lovely. Well, you know what happens there then? We're going to speed right up. Just leave it one second in between, so we don't ruin our loco. We do have fuel gauges, as well as the armor symbol is our condition. And the, the, the fuel symbol is our fuel. Which you have to go to a service yard and fuel up. I've yet to run out of fuel. Not sure what happens there. Possibly some sort of towing. There's an element of Derail Valley in this. Which I do want to bring to the channel as well. I've, the, the developer has sent me a key. So I do want to bring that in. And my first experiences with it is I like it. It's got this vibe. But uh, a little more polished. And a little closer to reality, possibly, on the old trains. Derail Valley definitely feels closer to a train simulator than this. Again, not necessarily a bad thing. Oh, Frankfurt Warehouse, right. Uh, what have you not done? Frankfurt Warehouse services station access got it ah, without the panic this time although we need to slow down to 50 anyway so probably at the warehouse it's a shame it's on the main line technically I'm not sure about that shouldn't that be off the main line we had the green signal there And the dwarf signals we've got to change over apparently green for go or green for correct in this case red for incorrect oh look at those big brains yes that's something for the future isn't it if they could be animated so you can see uh, trains being coupled if you could actually couple I don't mind it being abbreviated like it is it's fine isn't it just insta loading it could get a bit tedious could be an option to see your train getting loaded it's a lot of work that some people may never want to see though so priorities oh I can hear the sound effects of people working in the warehouse is that or is that my train rattling around I'm not sure ooh forklift can't see it Never mind. Right, leaving the station, or the warehouse. Soon we'll be approaching our 
drop-off point, I think. Oh, no, we've still got a bit to go. Let's see if we can't speed up a little. We do have a bit of headroom there, don't we? We can possibly get up to 80. There's a crane in the background. Do the towns grow visually? I honestly feel like I am a train in transport fever at the moment. If that is the cities building up, Oh, goodness, that would be really cool. If that is a thing. I'm a little bit excited for the uh, the possibilities and the future of this game. Could we speed up? Maybe. Is that 60? Where's 60? 60's coming up, right? Yeah. We just take off the power there. It should be fine. Where's our 60 board? Where do we change? Next speed limit needs a timer, doesn't it? A countdown, unless I'm not seeing it. It possibly could be the same as the switch. That's why it's not needed. Oh, that might be a thing. That means it should change in now-ish. 40 meters, 10 meters now? No, not quite. But it's not going to be far after that, is it? Is this it? This will be 60. Is this 60? Is anything going to be 60? Nope, don't know where the 60 came from. <laughs> I take it all back. Now it's 80 again, so uh, let's just creep the power up. What are we going on here? Flyover? That's fancy. Are we going in through the middle of town here? I mean, I do like that. That's wonderful. Do the windows work? Uh-oh. I don't think they do. You can use the controls. Like that. There are loads of buttons you can press. There was a few buttons. At the very least. So if you want to do it that way, that's available. We're going to do this. That tree is a problem. I hope we don't get damage from it. We don't. Need a bit of pruning, don't we? Or just cut it down would be easier. Where are we? Is this Frankfurt? It's absolutely ginormous. Right, pay attention to what you're doing, Grand. What we got? Free track, 80 limit. Let's get up to speed. You no longer have access to Frankfurt Warehouse. Indeed, don't need access, thank you very much. I'm not going to be reversing back into it anytime soon. Yeah, the warehouses are interesting, they accept loads of goodies. Uh, I'm wondering, are more trees... Frankfurt has issues. But yeah, I I would imagine you can get your other drivers to drop off goods so you can make shorter deliveries, like stockpile goods, on a regular basis into the warehouses around the map. Let's just drop the speed off. I don't want to hit into the red if possible. There we go. Speed back up. We're going to get into... Ooh, 110. Should we see if we can get up to that? It's going to drop down, though, isn't it, again? I'm just going up once every... Uh, it was, it's not even a second, is it? Before it will slip. Yeah, you can just... As long as you press it once, apparently, there's not even a delay. Just don't press it in quick succession. Lovely. Oh, there's a beta version down in the bottom left as well so you can compare what version this is to what which one you play if you if you uh, want to have a go on it right what are we doing here is this where we got to be it should be shouldn't it we need to start slowing down are we heading where are we heading yes we're here guys we're here all right i wasn't expecting that uh yeah let's uh really start slowing down shall we let's frankfurt Food processing services deliver contract to deliver automatically. There we go. Got it set up. A little bit of panic there, possibly, but that's because we were coming in to the station pretty hot before I realised what was going on. Right, now we need to get the power up. That's on a hill, isn't it? That's on a grade. 
goodness me. I can see the cranes and the big food processing plate. That's probably where they store their grain, isn't it? All right, let's get this up to 100%. Otherwise, we're going to roll back down the hill, aren't we? Notice the, the lack of wheel slip. Even though we're doing 100% on a grade with... Uh, do we still have our wagons? Never even checked. Yeah, we've still got our wagons. There we go. We're going to have to be careful, though, once we get up here, aren't we? Otherwise, we're going to go ridiculously fast into the yard. There we go. Let's take that off. Start slowing down now. I don't think it's taken into account that we've got wagons on the back. Because they're still on the grey, technically, and full. Right, keep an eye on the switches. Got my finger on cue. There we go. We'll uh, follow it to where it wants us to go. Initiate coupling. Coupling. From the, uh, or decoupling from the radial menu. Or press U. Right, no. Let's um, budge up a bit. I want to take it a little bit further in. We might have to visit the the uh, service thing as well before we leave we can take another another contract though can't we but not today we're going to wrap this one up here uh, we kind of made it didn't we we kind of made it that's pretty much the gameplay loop the main one go and deliver all your stuff but then you start to level up you get uh, perks and you can start employing people start buying more trains send people out again I hope the network gets busier with your own staff once you do let's bring this to a stop I think this is a good place to unload it would have been nice to go under the uh, yeah is that where we're supposed to go where it's green that's not what you told me no that green one is the service bay unload magically disappeared contract complete you gained a lot of experience and 60,000 euros guys should we uh, get out take a look at our loco I don't know how you hide the UI but that was my first look with you guys at uh, train life yes a railway simulator long name where do we go with this it's showing promise isn't it I like it I hope you did too. If you're not going to buy it, at least I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle in Germany. Possibly going to revisit this throughout its duration. No doubt that some things are going to be tidied up. We'll take a look at all the updates as they happen. And see if it's getting better and heading in the right direction. And until then, take care.